When I was around 17, I read a book by Miles Monroe. The book was about potential and life's purpose, and the first time in my life I was curious to know my life's purpose. I read every book I could find on the subject, spent time alone to meditate and really know myself. The result of that is that I was able to figure out who I was. Maybe not a hundred percent because it's a continuous task, and this happens to be the reason why I am happy today. You see, humans, like other animals, must do what they are created to do to be happy. Monkeys must jump on trees, fish must swim, and horses must run. Any attempt to change the duty of any of these animals will make their lives miserable. While humans may have a little more flexibility in our life's task than other animals, none of us will ever be happy if we're totally off the purpose by which we were created, and that's why most people aren't happy. In today's video, I will be sharing with you some of the reasons why so many people don't discover their life's purpose until it's too late, and what you can do to discover yours. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Following the societal definition of success Look at the jungle. The lion is the king of the jungle because he's the most dominant animal there. Does this mean that the lion is the happiest animal? Far from it. Dominance is just what lions were created for, and that doesn't mean that every other animal should struggle to be like him. Now, think about our own jungle, the world. The dominant figures in our world are billionaires, movie stars, popular athletes, politicians, and everyone dreams to be like them. In my humble opinion, the number one reason why most people never discover their life's purpose until it's too late is that they are busy following the societal definition of success, which is to have millions of dollars, big mansions, and become a billionaire. This is not to say that all those things are bad or sinful, but they are distracting a lot of people from the real thing which is happiness. Some people were created to be teachers. Some people can only be happy if they are parents who spend quality time with their kids. Some people's life's purpose is to pray for nations, and if these people can feed their family and pay bills, they will be the happiest people in the world. But because everyone tells them that they need Rolex watches to be considered successful, they are busy running after the wind. Here is my advice to you. Look within to see what success means to you. For me, the things that make me happy are joining words together. Call it writing and spending quality time with my children every day. And that I do every day. Look within and search for what success means to you. Your life's purpose is what success means to you, not what the society says it means. Wrong Education If there are three things I hate with all the strength in me, school will be one of those three. I simply don't think the present school system is giving people education. Instead, it's a 19th century institution built to train laborers. For me, the real education should start from helping children to discover who they are and encouraging them to spend the rest of their lives doing what they are passionate about. In my country, if you tell your parents that you love music, art or soccer and want to play for the rest of your life, your father will tell you, okay, there's no problem, you can do anything you want with your life after the first degree. How stupid is that? What is in a degree? Why should a degree be a criteria for anything in life? Can't anyone get as much education as they need in the big, complex world? Must we all waste years of our lives because of a decorated paper? Because school teaches people to be employees. Most times, they are in their thirties before they know that there should be more to life than working. There should be a reason to wake up. There should be a purpose that drives us and there should be a mission that's bigger than us. Here is my advice to you. Do not worship little things like school or certificate. Worship your purpose. If you've discovered what you were created to do, go ahead and pursue it regardless of whether or not you have a degree. Smooth life, little adventures. Most times our passion is not visible to us. Our passion isn't invisible because it is hidden. We don't see it because we are too busy fulfilling the dictates of society. 
Let me give you an example here. I know a girl who was a born artist, but nobody ever encouraged her to draw or write. Instead, her parents wanted her to have an A in mathematics and biology. After a decade of not using her creativity, such strength will become almost invisible and she would need to go look for it again. To make matters worse, the school and society are actually built around safety. You're expected to follow a tested map and climb the popular ladder. But because of this, most people don't try different things to figure out what really makes them high. So many people have spent their entire life following the popular road. If you want to find yourself, you have to go and look for yourself. It won't be easy and it's even impossible if you're too old already. But if you're young, yield to my advice. Try things, be adventurous, attempt things and get your hands burnt. Yes, you'll make a lot of mistakes and even fail. But if you keep on trying, you'll end up figuring out what makes you high. And that's why you were born. Think about your favorite food. The only reason why you discovered that a particular food is your favorite is because you've eaten so many foods. Can you ever know your favorite food if you've only eaten a single food all your life? That's what happens when most people simply follow society's laid down path because they have never tried enough other options. They really don't know what they were created to do. Here is a summary of this video. The lion is the king of the jungle, but he's not necessarily the happiest animal in the jungle. So, no animal should try to become a lion. The billionaires, politicians and celebrities in our world are famous and rich. That doesn't mean that they are the happiest people. So no one should dream of becoming a billionaire just for the sake of billions. Figure out who you are and focus on what you love and you'll make enough money to be happy. Yes, you and I may never become the richest man in the world, but I tell you, nobody needs the billions to be happy. Don't trust school for your education. Even if you go to school, take your personal education seriously and be willing to learn what school doesn't teach you. Get out, try things, be adventurous, and you will find your passion. If this video makes sense to you, kindly subscribe to our channel. We love you.